Hey there, it's Nina here with Walleye Stamping. Thank you for joining me today. So this is a project that I did on my Walleye Stamping Live this past Monday. And I think it is such a cute idea. It would be perfect for a Valentine's teacher's gift or really any time at all. But since Valentine's is right around the corner, I just thought this was so cute. So this one, of course, I've done more Valentine-like. I used some... Um, fresh fig cardstock and then I use the painted with love designer series paper I've printed a little calendar off the internet and put that in there and then I have my little post-it note right there in the center and I've got some velcro holding it closed this one I use fresh fig some blushing bride and some uh, gold glimmer paper on the outside then this one I did in blushing bride I use silver foil on the medallion and some whisper white and then use the whisper white fine woven ribbon on that and then the designer series paper is the sweet soiree and then again I've got the calendar and the post-it note on the inside so I'm going to make the same thing but I'm going to change it up like I normally do I'm going to be using some lemon lime twist and now this piece of paper is cut to three and an eighth inches wide by ten inches long and then with that I'm going to be using some fresh fig I have two pieces that is three inches by two and seven eighths. And then I have another couple of pieces that are both three inches by three inches. Then on this one, I'm going to be using a couple of pieces of Tutti Frutti that is cut to two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And then I have a piece that is cut to two and five eighths by two and seven eighths. So I have two of each of those. And then the Tutti Frutti is found in the Occasions catalog and it's a sweet. You'll find it on page 28 and 29. How adorable are all of these projects? There's sequins, there's little small punches, all the de designer series paper, lots of cute things that you can do with this and with spring and summer right around the corner. That little stamp set or that sweet would actually be perfect for summertime birthdays or invitations or things like that. So the first thing that we're going to do is grab our Simply Scored scoring tool and get our scoring done. So I'm going to put my Lemon Lime Twist in so that the 10 inches across the top. Then we're going to score at 3 and 1 eighth, then at 3 and a half, six and five eighths and seven. So basically what you're going to have here is you're going to have two squares here and here. Both of these are going to be three and an eighth by three and an eighth with three eighths of an inch on either side of it. And then this little square is actually going to be three and an eighth tall but only three wide so that when you fold it up let me pull this open. It's not going to be so long that it'll interfere with being able to close this up and it being even right there on that edge. So that's all the scoring that we have to do. I'm going to go ahead and get my score lines folded and burnished. I'm going to be using my snail today and I'm going to attach my designer series paper. So this is the three by three cardstock and the two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths designer series paper. Alrighty, so these two pieces I'm going to sit to the side. Now these little bit smaller ones I'm going to put on the inside and on the outside of this particular tab right here. Okay. Now, I'm not going to put any here because our post-it notepad is going to go there. And it's just going to cover up any paper that you put under there. So there's really no sense in wasting your paper just for it to be covered up. The first thing I'm going to do is take one of these pieces and I'm going to place it right here on this left-hand side panel and this is where my calendar is going to go. So I've just gone again and found a free printable little calendar. I shrunk this one down because its original size was going to be larger than this so I just adjusted it when I got ready to print it and that way it'll fit in there nicely. Now I'm just going to use my stapler 
and attach this down. I'm going to put it pretty much right in the center. Try to make sure I get those as even as possible. And what I did was, I didn't say this, but I just used my Stampin' Up! trimmer and just trimmed all these little pieces down on it to make sure that I could get them all the same size. So I'm going to attach that with the staple and I don't have any issues using the staple you may not like that but it doesn't bother me and this way whenever the month goes by it can just be ripped off and taken completely away and won't be um, having any adhesive or anything like that to be in the way now since we have this staple right here I'm going to put my um, panel on the outside now to cover that staple up but I'm not going to stop there and if you want to make another panel to put on the back you can I just decided not to so let's go ahead and stick our post-it note right here in the center and then look how great that closes perfect I'm going to go ahead and trim my Velcro and get it ready to go on there. And because this is a small little booklet, I'm just going to use a little piece of Velcro right here. I already have both of the hook and loop pieces stuck together. And then what I'll do once I get this cut apart is peel the backing off of one of them. And I'm going to stick that in here right beside the calendar then peel the adhesive backing off the other side and then get this all lined up how I'm going to want it to close give that a good press then pull that open and so there you go you've got your little velcro holding those together now let's decorate the outside now for this, I've just got a scrap piece left over from cutting out my panels of my fresh fig. And then I've got a scrap piece of some Whisper White. The stamp set I'm going to use today is a celebration stamp set. And this is called Beautiful Peacock. And this is a stamp set that you can get for free during celebration. And I do have a blog post over on my website that explains to you exactly how celebration works. So if you've never heard of celebration or you've never shopped with Stampin' Up! during celebration, you can go over to that blog post and read about how you get free product but in a nutshell when you buy Stampin' Up! product during celebration they have a little brochure that is cram packed full of items that you can get for free so with every $50 you spend before tax and shipping you get to choose an item out of that little brochure so if you have any questions you can either leave them in the comment section below the video you can send me an email the address is nina at wallastamping.com or you can can make a comment underneath the blog post for this project. I check all three of those and I will answer your questions as soon as I get them read. Now I have a couple of blocks here. I've got a block C and a block A and I didn't show you but I'm going to be using all of these little flower type shapes here and I've got all of those mounted together on my C block and then the sentiment I'm just going to use beautiful friend and I've got that on my block A. So for the background I'm going to use my lemon lime twist and I'm just going to randomly go around this paper and just stamp these. I love the lemon lime twist. When I was a younger girl um, in the 70s, green was a very popular color to decorate your house with and but it was more of an olive green back then and I hated it I don't know why but I hated it um, but now as an adult I've learned to love the color green so anyway there you go I'm gonna stamp this with my what is this called I've just lost my mind for a half a second berry burst <laughs> No, Fresh Fig Ink. Oh, Lord have mercy. It's been a long day and I have lost my thinker. So I'm going to be using a couple of punches today. I'm going to use the two inch punch and the one and three quarter inch punch. So for the two inch punch, I'm going to punch out my background color, which is the Fresh Fig. I remembered that time. 
and then I'm going to just line my sentiment right up in the center of this punch and get that punched out. Doesn't that look so cute with those lemon, little lemon lime twist flowers in the background? And to put this together, just going to use my snail. You could also use some fast fuse or liquid glue if you'd like. And then I'll attach this to the front of my little notepad. Right there, get it in the center. Then I have a piece of the finely woven fresh fig ribbon. And instead of tying this in a bow, because if you give this to somebody and they keep it in a desk or in their purse or something, I don't feel like a bow would survive very long. So I'm giving myself a bow look by just tying this in a knot and then trimming off the ends. And then it looks like a bow, even though it isn't. To attach this, I'm going to be using my glue dots, and in order to make sure that there's a better chance of this staying stuck, I'm actually going to use three of them. I'll put one in the center, and then I'll put one out here on either side of the ribbon right there and right there. Then I'm going to stick my bow, or my mock bow, right here. Stick the center down first. Then I can kind of decide where I want these little tails to go and then stick those down like that. So here are all three of these little calendar and post-it note booklets that I've made. I think they're the perfect little gift for Valentine's, especially if you know someone who is on a diet or doesn't like to eat candy. Perfect little Valentine gift for that person, co-worker, family, friends, whoever you might think of you'd want to give this to. So I hope that you enjoyed learning how to make this project today. And it's my desire to inspire you and supply you with the necessary resources you need to create projects like this. So to order any of the supplies that I've used today, just go to walleyestamping.com forward slash order SU. And if you like this video and you want to see more like it, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video below and share it with your friends. So I'm Nina with Walla Stamping. Thank you for spending time with me and allowing me to share this project with you. And I'll talk to you soon.